There's some pretty weird animals out there, so do they really need to go out and make themselves even weirder by mating with different species and turning into hybrids? Of course they do! From the vicious super predator you could have at home, to the dog known for its photogenic appearance, here's 20 animal hybrids you won't believe exist! <sighs> Number 20. Toyger The Toyger is a domestic cat breed that originated in the 1980s when domestic short-haired tabbies were bred to resemble a toy tiger because of its striped coat, which is similar to that of a tiger. Judy Sugden, the breed's originator, has claimed that the breed was created to motivate people to care about tiger conservation in the wild. The International Cat Association recognized it as a registration-only breed in the early 2000s, and it has progressed through all qualifications to be certified as a full championship breed in 2012. As of 2012, there were perhaps 20 breeders in the United States and another 15 or so in the rest of the globe. The Popheads database has 469 Toygers registered for 2020. Judy Sugden, a breed Reader attempting to differentiate between mackerel patterns and tabbies, observed unusual markings in one of her cats in the 1980s in the United States, and the breed was born. These small patches on the temples of the face, a region generally devoid of significant pattern, indicated genetically that a domestic cat might have the round tiger face design. The effort to create a toy tiger started in earnest after importing a tom from the slums of India with considerable spotting breaking up the regular tabby lines on the top of the head. Over the course of several years, approximately 40 domestic cats from various countries were chosen as foundation stock, including Bengals, unpedigreed domestic short-haired cats with stripes, and at least one cat imported from India for its ear markings. Each provided a specific desired trait or reinforced those already chosen, especially the striped appearance. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. It is said that pigs and humans are close relations, and we actually share many characteristics. In the case of my roommate, they are practically indistinguishable when it comes to cleaning up the place, but then, well, this farmer discovered something weird under his cornfield. This theory is that it might be something that escaped from a Chinese lab, because scientists in China have finally cracked the genetic code and created this pig-human hybrid. According to some reports, and the internet is going wild. In Los Angeles, having one of these human pig babies has become the ultimate fashionable pet. The creators expect to become richer than Elon Musk by the end of 2022. Is this fair on the creature, though? Would you want to walk one of these around your neighborhood on a leash? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag RareTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 19. Pomsky Pomeranian Plus Husky a Pomsky dog is a hybrid between a Siberian Husky and a Pomeranian rather than a distinct breed. Pomskys, one of a variety of designer dogs, are a relatively new breed that's gaining popularity owing to its attractive looks and social media presence. Because Pomskys are a mixed breed dog, there are no breed standards for look or temperament, and it's difficult to anticipate which parent breed Pomsky pups will most closely resemble. Pomsky are supposed to look like little wolves or small huskies, although some may have the form and coloration of larger-than-normal Pomeranians. Even Pomsky pups from the same litter may have a broad range of appearances, with some seeming more husky and others like more Pomeranian. Adult Pomskys are on the lower end of the medium-sized dog spectrum, standing 10 to 15 inches tall and weighing 20 to 30 pounds. 
Pomskis are bigger than a purebred Pomeranian, which weighs less than 10 pounds. Yet, they are still small enough to sit on a lap, unlike a full-grown husky, although the breed is still young enough that the majority of Pomskis are a 50-50 mix of husky and Pomeranian. Some Pomskis are mated with purebred Pomeranians to create smaller dogs. Number 18. Human Z the human Z is a cross between a chimp and a human. In the 1920s, Soviet scientist Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov attempted to produce such a hybrid, as did potentially researchers in the People's Republic of China in the 1960s, but neither succeeded. Human Z, a portmanteau term for a human-chimp hybrid, is believed to have first appeared in the 1980s. There have been no scientifically verified specimens of a human chimp chimpanzee hybrid, but there have been substantiated reports of unsuccessful human-chimpanzee hybridization attempts in the Soviet Union in the 1920s, as well as various unsubstantiated reports on similar attempts in the second half of the 20th century. Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov was the first person to use artificial insemination to produce a human-chimp hybrid. Ivanov conducted a series of experiments in the 1920s, ending in the insemination of three female chimps with human sperm. But he was unable to produce a pregnancy. He planned a series of studies with non-human ape sperm and human volunteers in 1929, but was forced to postpone them due to the death of his original orangutan. He was forced to exile in the Kazakh SSR the following year after receiving political criticism from the Soviet authorities. He worked at the Kazakh Veterinary Zoo Technical Institute and died of a stroke two years later. There were allegations in the 1980s of a human-chimpanzee crossbreeding experiment undertaken in the People's Republic of China in 1967, as well as plans to resume similar research. Ji Yongsheng, the superintendent of a Shenyang hospital, was reported in 1981 as claiming to have been involved in a 1967 experiment in Shenyang, in which a chimp female was pregnant with human sperm. Number 17. Cheeto the Cheeto Cat is a recent addition to the cat world. Cheeto Cats were initially developed in 2001 by Carol Dryman by breeding Bengal cats with Asa cats. The objective was to produce a new cat breed with a kind, loving demeanor and a wild cat-like physical appearance. And what's even better, they were named after everyone's favorite cheesy snack, best known for occasionally having the image of Jesus Christ miraculously depicted on them, despite the fact that Cheeto Cats are becoming more popular due to their unique personality and exotic appearance. The Cat Fanciers Association and other breed registries have yet to recognize them. Cheeto cats are fun-loving kitties that desire attention from their family. They are large, exotic, and energetic. They get along with everyone, even other animals. Even though they are eight generations away from the wild cats who formed the breed's basis, these amazing cats have a wild look. But don't let that fool you. They're committed lap cats that love to snuggle up on the sofa and watch TV. Cheeto cats may reach a weight of over 20 pounds. They are one of the biggest cat breeds ever created, and since they are so new, they are also one of the rarest. Number 16. Leopon, male leopard plus female lion. The hybrid offspring of a male leopard and a female lion is known as a leopon. The animal's head resembles that of a lion, but the remainder of its body resembles that of a leopard. These hybrids are created in a lab and are unlikely to appear in nature. In 1859, the first reported leopon was reared in Kolhapur, India. Walter Samuel Millard, the secretary of the Bombay Natural History Society, gave this skin to Reginald Heinz Pocock. It looked like like a mix of a huge leopard and a lioness. Two cubs were born, one of which died at the age of 2.5 months, and the other of which was still alive in 1912, when Pocock reported it. 
It was leopard-spotted, but the markings on its flanks were smaller and closer together than those of an Indian leopard, and they were brown and vague, like the fading spots of a baby lion, according to Pocock. The dots were black and prominent on the head, spine, belly, and legs. The tail had a blackish tip with longer hairs, and was speckled on top and striped below. The underbelly was filthy white, and the ears were fawn with a thick black band, but no white patch like leopards. Pocock noted that the Lejegulep, or Congolese spotted lion, produced in Chicago was the closest he'd ever seen to this sort of hybrid. Number 15. Mullard. Mallard plus Muscovy Duck. The mullard is a cross between two domestic duck genera, domestic muscovy ducks, and domestic ducks descended from wild mallards. Mullards are most typically bred from American peccans and other domestic ducks owing to the breed's excellent meat output. Mullards, like many interspecific F1 hybrids, are sterile, earning them the moniker mule ducks, while natural insemination may be utilized to create mullards, artificial Artificial insemination is used more often and with higher results. The name Mullard or Moulard is used to describe ducks whose father is a Muscovy and the mother is a Peccan duck. When the drake is a Peccan, the young are called hinnies because they are smaller. Traditionally, geese were used to make foie gras, but by the 1960s, the majority of farmers had switched to Mullards. Geese are more costly to keep than ducks since they are bigger and more aggressive, and the more temperamental Muscovies did not accept the gavage force feeding technique as easily as peccans, resulting in poor foie gras quality. The introduction of mullards solved this issue. In areas where foie gras is not produced, these hybrids have grown immensely popular. Hybrid ducks already outnumber geese in France, the world's biggest producer and consumer of foie gras. Number 14. So, cow plus wild yak. The zoo is a cross between a cow and a yak. What is a zoo and why is it named that? Have you considered trying to commercialize something called a yow? Or is it a cack? Uh, let's stick with so. Although uncommon, this bovid is often employed as a farm animal in Tibet and Mongolia. They are a robust animal that produces a lot of milk and meat, but on the plus side, they consume less than a conventional yak or cow. As a result, they have a high level of agricultural efficiency. Other Asian nations have begun to embrace this Tibetan and Mongolian specialty in recent years. They may weigh up to 1,300 pounds and reach 5.5 feet tall, with the long, shaggy hair of a yak, but a cow-like face and horns. The males are infertile, but the females may be crossed with male cattle or yaks to produce a new generation that is more cow-like or more yak-like. They are very powerful and are often employed to transport loads of up to 300 pounds for people attempting to climb Mount Everest. They are also more nimble and capable at high elevations than either of their parents. Number 13. Dolphin. Male false killer whale plus female bottlenose dolphin. Now we have the wolfin, which does sound a little strange. Wolfins are the offspring of a bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale, and they do exist in nature but in extremely small numbers. False killer whales are roughly midway between a dolphin and a killer whale in size, with the killer whale's head and teeth. They may grow to be 20 feet long and will associate with a variety of species, with the males preferring to mate with whatever females they can find, regardless of the species. So that's how it works in the wild occasionally. The wolfin may grow to be between 12 and 22 feet long and weigh roughly 600 pounds. While the bottlenose dolphin has 88 teeth and the false killer whale has 44 teeth, the wolfin has 66 teeth, which is an average of the two parents. Kakaimalu, the first known wolfin in captivity, was born in 1985. They tend to have more dolphin-like traits, although they will still be considerably bigger. Her daughter, Kawikai, is the only other captive wolfin besides Kikaimalu. Number 12. Liger. Male lion plus female tiger. When you put a male lion and a female tiger in a cage together, 
What happens? In all probability, they will attempt to kill each other right away, with the tigress seeming to be the more dangerous. But what if you reared them as cubs together so they were familiar with each other, and even loved each other? Then things can become a little bit more passionate, and you might end up with a liger, a lion-tiger hybrid. Because the habitats of these huge cats no longer overlap in the wild, the liger is only found in captivity today. Ligers are incredible animals because they are enormous, much larger than typical lions and tigers. They are in fact the biggest cats on the planet. Hercules, the world's largest healthy liger, weighed an incredible 922 pounds in 2013. That's quite a lot of feline. Ligers are incredibly common since they only exist in zoos, with an estimated population of less than 100 on the globe. Around 30 of them are in the United States, with another 20 in China. If you live in one of those nations, take advantage of the chance to witness one of these incredible hybrid creatures. Number 11. Beefalo, Buffalo plus Cow Now it's time to examine the fearsome beefalo. This has to be the winner of the competition for the most fantastic name for a hybrid animal. Who wouldn't be interested in meeting a beefalo? It's a cross between a buffalo and a domestic cow. This cross was made by chance in the 18th century, but it quickly became apparent that the buffalo's extreme hardiness, combined with normal cattle, would make the beefalo a highly valuable animal for farming, particularly because buffalo are less hungry than domestic cattle. Because the meat is thought to be superior, the population of this species is expected to grow as more people become aware of the advantages of the beefalo. Unlike domestic animals, they may weigh up to 2,000 pounds and have silky, dark-colored hair. They are also renowned to be peaceful and disease-tolerant. Because you can't have three parents, the bad news is that the optimal blend is roughly a two to three cow and one out of three buffalo. This takes a little arithmetic to get the ratio right. Number 10. Savannah Cat, Domestic Cat plus Serval the Savannah Cat is a one-of-a-kind cat with a distinct set of characteristics resulting from its hybridization. These are produced by mating a wild African serval with a domestic Siamese cat, resulting in a hybrid that has the look of a real wild cat possessing the behavior of a domestic cat. In any event, Savannah was the name of the first Savannah Cat kitten, and she went on to name the whole breed, and the Savannah Cat was soon recognized by the inter International Cat Association, which occurred in 2001. They have a remarkable aspect that has been described as both magnificent and dignified. They resemble a cheetah in appearance with long legs and spotted patterns on a golden coat, making them easily identifiable. They also have enormous eyes, which should deter any other animals from digging up your yard. Savannah cats are said to have a dog-like demeanor, since they often follow their owners around the home and like being touched. However, since these creatures are cautious and powerful, they must be socialized at a young age. Number 9. Koi Wolf, Coyote plus Wolf the coyote is a cross between a coyote and a wolf. Personally, I would have dubbed it a woyote or a colf, but you know who am I to judge. The first koi wolf was discovered in southern Ontario around the turn of the 20th century, but it was not named until 1969 because people originally mistook it for a large coyote. They now inhabit in the northeastern United States and southeastern Canada. They can grow up to 5 feet long and and weigh up to 45 pounds. Like a large wolf, the coat is thick, and the colors might originate from either parent. <coughs> the size of the head and jaws, on the other hand, clearly derive from the wolf side, since they are considerably larger and more powerful than a conventional coyote. The koi wolf is a carnivore and it eats the same things as coyotes and wolves, including voles, mice, rabbits, woodchucks, white-tailed deer, geese, ducklings, and carrion. After a hefty lunch of ducklings and carrion, it will sometimes consume berries and nuts as a little dessert. Like wolves, they 
they hunt and live in groups, but unlike coyotes, they are solitary creatures. They have a variety of cries, including the howl of a wolf and the yip of a coyote, and are prolific and rapidly reproduced. Number 8. Pygon – Male Tiger Plus Female Lion We've already dealt with the liger, now it's time to deal with the tigon. A male tiger and a female lion have produced this kitty. This is a cross that might have happened in nature at least once when lions and tigers shared territory in Asia. Because these cats belong to the same genus, there is no difficulty with them reproducing, but because they are different species, the newborn tigon may not be able to reproduce as easily. <laughs> As a result, tigons are very uncommon and only exist in captivity. They may have both the mother's spots and the father's stripes. Lions have the genes for spots, which are occasionally apparent on certain lions. The mane is occasionally evident, although it is normally shorter and less conspicuous than a lion's mane, and it resembles a male tiger's ruff. Some people believe that tigons are considerably smaller than their mothers and fathers, however this is not the case. They aren't as huge as ligers, but they can grow to be as big as their parents and weigh up to 400 pounds. So if you're thinking about getting one as a pet, this is not a good idea. Number 7. Penny – Female Donkey Plus Male Horse when you mix a male horse with a female donkey, what do you get? A henny is the answer. The astute among you may be thinking, wait a minute, isn't that just a plain old mule? Nah, a mule is a male donkey mated with a female horse, and it is a lot more frequent hybrid. Mules and hennies are also genetically distinct, owing to their genetic imprint. Hennies are smaller and have a disposition more akin to that of a donkey, being more calm and slow going, but also obstinate. Mules, on the other hand, are more daring, active, and agile than horses. In truth, they both have vital duties that they perform in various situations. A hinny is great as a pack horse, whereas a mule is ideal for trail riding. Hinnies are known for their obstinacy, but mules may be just as obstinate, so expect some trouble. This is due to their intelligence and ability to evaluate a situation, and they will not allow you to lead them into doing anything harmful or dangerous for no reason. Number 6. Sheep. Goat plus sheep. In case you couldn't tell, that's a goat and a sheep, aka a geep. Despite the fact that these two creatures have coexisted for longer than recorded history, interbreeding between them is very unusual. They belong to a different genus, but the same Caprinine subfamily. Because goats and sheep are too dissimilar to create healthy offspring, the majority of geeps are stillborn. However, there are accounts of some geeps surviving and even growing up. In the year 2000, a healthy baby geep was born, with goat-like legs and a sheep-like body. It possessed a sheep-like fluffy inner coat and a goat-like coarse outer layer. It was also notorious for having an intense libido, pursuing every female goat or sheep it came across. Butterfly, a baby geep, was born in 2014 at My Petting Zoo in Scottsdale, Arizona. It gained a celebrity status on social media, albeit not because of its Casanova-like conduct. Number 5. Polar Bear – Polar Bear plus Brown Bear there used to be a significant gap between the habitats of grizzly bears and polar bears only a few years ago. They each had their own patch and were unlikely to cross paths, but what about now? Polar bears have started to migrate south as the polar ice caps melt, and they have begun to cross across for the first time. What exactly does this imply? There was a lot of fighting, for sure, but there was also some love and the birth of several growler bears. The internet has been debating who would win in a battle between a polar bear and a grizzly bear, but the truth is that when they opt to hug instead, everyone wins. Some people also refer to them as pizzly bears, which is rather amusing. While just three additional occurrences have been formally documented, scientists think they can create more of these hybrids and contribute a new bear species to the globe. So the next time your garbage is trashed, you can blame it on a pizzly... 
uh, a growler bear. You can blame it on a growler bear. Number four, Zonkey. Zebra plus donkey. The Zonkey is a cross between a zebra stallion and a donkey jenny. These creatures have been produced since the 19th century, and they were even mentioned by Charles Darwin in his writings. Zonkeys, on the other hand, are very unusual, despite the fact that the zebra and the donkey are close cousins. Some of you may have visited Mexico and are going to rant in the comments about how they were everywhere on your two-week vacation to Tijuana, but I'll let you in on a little Mexican secret. The stripes of the donkey are painted on to make them seem that way. Guys, this isn't a genuine zonkey. However, since there are so many zebras and donkeys in South Africa, they do happen sometimes. Zonkeys, like mules, are infertile owing to their odd number of chromosomes. Number 3. Kama, Camel plus Llama The Kama is a hybrid between a camel and a llama. It's a male dromedary camel, the sort with one hump, and a female llama, to be precise. In 1998, the first Kama was born. The goal was to develop an animal that could produce more wool than a llama, but with the size and strength of a camel and a more laid-back attitude. Of course, llamas and camels do not reside in the same area, and the two species have been separated for more than 30 million years, so it's a bit of a wonder that you can just breed them together and have healthy Kama without any issues. Male dromedaries are almost six times the size of female llamas, so there are some obstacles. Miss Llama isn't going to like that, therefore the entire thing will have to be done via artificial insemination. Camas weigh up to 1,000 pounds and stand up to 55 inches tall at the shoulder. They lack the hump and have a shorter fleece than llamas, yet they can drink large quantities of water and live in the desert for extended periods of time. Old world camelids, dromedary camels, Bactrian camels, and wild Bactrian camels Camels, and New World Camelids made up the Camelid family. The Llama, Ficunia, Suri, Alpaca, Wakaya Alpaca, and Guanaco. Though successful and productive hybrids have existed within each of the main Camelid groups, the Kama is the first instance of crossbreeding between the two. At the age of four, the first Kama displayed symptoms of sexual maturity when he expressed a desire to procreate with a female Guanaco and the female Llama. He was also a behavioral failure with a particularly bad disposition. In 2002, the second Kama, a girl called Camilla, was born successfully. Five Kamas have been created as of April 2008. Number 2. Narluga, Narwhal plus Beluga a strange hybrid whale was born to a narwhal mother and a beluga father. In the late 1980s, an Inuit substance hunter named Jens Larsen killed three unusual whales off the western coast of Greenland. Narwhals with their long, helical tusks protruding from their snouts, and belugas with their distinctive white skin, were two species he and his fellow substance hunters would often capture. Larson's latest kills, on the other hand, were none of these things. Their skin was gray, not white or molted like that of a narwhal. The tails resembled those of a narwhal, but the flippers resembled those of a beluga. In all of Larson's years of hunting, he has never seen anything like these. He was moved to the point that he hanged one of their heads from the roof of his tool shed, as you would when you come upon something adorable. Mads Peter Haida Jorgensen, a marine animal researcher, was drawn to it in 1990. With Larson's permission, he transferred it to the Greenland Fisheries Research Institute in Copenhagen for research. He suggested that it was a narluga, a hybrid of the two species, after comparing it to the skulls of known belugas and narwhals. It seemed to be a sound hypothesis. Narwhals and belugas are the same size, share the same arctic waters, and are the most closely related animals on the planet. Individuals from both species have been seen swimming in each other's pods. However, no one has ever found an arluga before, and Haida Jorgensen currently has no way of validating his idea. Number 1. Jag Lion, Male Jaguar plus Female Lion 
What is a jag lion? Yeah, that's correct. This is a jaguar lion, as you would have guessed. A male jaguar crossed with a female lion, because jaguars dwell in South America, and lions mostly live in Africa. This is one hybrid that could never happen in nature. Also, since lions hate swimming, there's little chance of a romantic rendezvous midway. The jag lion is an extremely uncommon species, and a stuffed example can be seen in Walter Rothschild Zoological Museum in Hertfordshire, England, where we can observe that it has the basic color of a lion, but the rosettes and robust muscular form of a jaguar. A jag lion was born in the Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary in Canada in 2006. When a black jaguar named Diablo and a female lioness named Lola mated, the two cubs, one male and one female, were born by accident. The two had been reared together and were best friends, but Diablo seems to have slipped out of the friend zone while the zookeepers weren't watching. And they're now one big happy cat family, with the female cub getting her father's black coat and the male cub being spotted and lighter in color. The jag lion, like its lion mother, has a prominent tuft of hair at the end of its tail. The male jag lion, unlike his lion predecessors, does not develop a mane. Photos of jag lions give the appearance of gentle giants, large cats that, like your normal house cat, enjoy to roll about in their enclosure shavings. There are more likely to be muted versions of lions or jaguars in the wild if they're born in captivity. Would you want a hybrid animal as a pet? What two animals would you like to mate to create a new species? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.